this GFN Thursday. We have two games arriving to the service this week, an update surrounding a very popular title. But to kick things off, let's talk about another way that GFN is making the user experience much better. If you ask me, one of the biggest goals of cloud gaming should be making it as convenient as possible. The less that separates us from getting into a game and playing it as fast as possible, the better. Up until now, GeForce Now has allowed you to automatically sign into your Epic and Steam accounts whenever you launch a game. But starting today, launching a Ubisoft Connect game will now require you to link your Ubisoft account as well. This will make the experience much smoother. Not only that, but members who link their account will be able to sync their entire Ubisoft Connect library to GeForce Now so all the games are instantly available in your GFN library. Now I do want to point out that this feature has been available for those who've looked for it, but now it's going to be required. And I honestly think making it a requirement is a pretty smart move as it'll alleviate a lot of issues that people still think exist when there is a solution to them. But moving on from one Ubisoft related story to another, it's worth pointing out that Tom Clancy's The Division 2 will be entering year 5. And it all starts with Season 1 Broken Wings. It introduces a brand new game mode called Descent, a roguelike for teams of up to 4 players. You'll begin each and every match without any gear, perks, or specializations, and you'll unlock them throughout the progression to work up through the ranks. If you ask me, it sounds like the perfect game mode to hop into and play and check out if you haven't been keeping up with all the latest updates surrounding The Division 2. It's all thanks to the roguelite nature of the game mode, and personally speaking, I'm going to be trying it out myself considering GeForce Now makes it super easy to check out big updates like this without having to worry about re-downloading the game. But now, let's take a look at the two new games arriving in GFN this week. First up is Amnesia the Bunker, which you can pick up on Steam. It's set in a World War I bunker with a relentless AI-driven monster stalking you. Survival depends on finding tools, crafting items, and keeping the lights on. The Amnesia name is definitely no stranger to any horror fans out there, and this latest entry is a long time coming. The developers state that you can expect a dynamic and ever-present monster that will react to your actions, constant tension, a tactile and physics-based interactive world, and expect to scavenge for resources to craft tools to aid you in your survival with multiple solutions to problem solving in a non-linear open world. Following that, we have another new release on Steam, and that's called Harmony, The Fall of Reverie. In it, the fate of humanity is at stake, and you have to use your gift of clairvoyance to see into the future and stop an apocalypse that threatens the balance between your world and the deities. From what I can tell, the game is definitely a narrative adventure where your choices do have a huge impact on the story. And it shouldn't be too big a surprise considering it's coming from Don't Nod, the original creators of Life is Strange. I gotta say, the game's definitely got a beautiful art style with a lot of popping colors, and the animation that they've shown has been beautiful. And with that, we've covered the games arriving to GFN this week. While it may only be two titles, there's much more in store for GFN this month, including Microsoft's very own Age of Empires franchise, which is slated to arrive sometime this month. Now before wrapping things up, I do also want to mention that if you haven't checked out the monthly choice bundle from HumbleBundle.com, you really should. It's a fantastic deal right now that includes games that are available on GFN to stream. Out of the 8 games included, you can stream Remnant from the Ashes, Curse of the Dead Gods, Honey I Joined a Cult, Eternal Threads, Grime, Turbo Golf Racing, and while you can currently stream Ghostwire Tokyo, I have no doubt that it'll appear eventually considering it comes from Xbox Game Studios and Bethesda Studios. Meeple Station on the other hand is a toss up, but hey, you never know, who knows if it'll show up. Regardless, still a fantastic deal and one you should definitely take advantage of if you can. Either way, that wraps up this video, if you enjoyed it or found it helpful at all be sure to hit that like button as it really does help the channel out and if you're wanting more content like this be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell as well as always thank you for watching the video i hope you have a great day this has been the virtual cloud giving you the latest and greatest on everything cloud gaming related and until next time i'll catch you in the clouds